Bobby's in the house. How you doing, Bobby? Very hard working today. Today has uh, tested us. Those there you go. Road conditions. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, and, uh, and and Joe, are you feeling forgiving? I don't know. After a, a long hard weekend, what do you think? <laughs> I'm feeling very, very forgiving. No, I'm in a lovely, happy mood, and yeah, I'm feeling very forgiving. I can't believe that anyone would have done anything that I would judge them in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think? <laughs> okay. Uh, God, but my pen is poised. I have a bit of paper here. Yeah. I am paying attention. Anna. Good. Biscuits. Confessions at bbc.co.uk. Uh, if you want to send in your tale, Simon, Joe, and Bobby. This one comes from Sam. Sam says, "Back around." Can I? Okay. Can I just say right at the very beginning of this? Mm-hmm. Don't try any of this at home. Okay. There is okay. nothing in here that you'd think that's a good idea. I'm going to try that out. Okay. Right. And that's for the whole family. Like this. That's, that's everybody. Okay. That's everybody. No one's going to no try, one try okay. this ever. Simon, Joe, and Bobby says, "Sam, back around 2005." I just had my first child and I was carrying some excess baby weight. And never been particularly thin, I was feeling a bit down in the dumps and was trying everything to lose a bit of weight. My great auntie was about 70 at the time and looked incredibly young for her age. She had an amazing figure, particularly her legs, which appeared to be those of a 20 year old. Perfect shape, no sagging skin, not a vein in sight. I asked her what her secret was to looking so good. And she told me that when she was younger, she would wear carrier bags strapped around her legs when in the house and swore <laughs> that this had given her the perfect pins. You know? I, I have never tried that, Bobby View. No. no, but I'm so going to. <laughs> well, you wait and see how this okay. pans out. Well. <laughs> now, I was not blessed with slender legs, Simon, and often people referred to them as tree trunks, to be perfectly honest. What my auntie had said resonated in my head for a few days, and one evening feeling a little bit low, I thought to myself, well, why don't I give it a try? Believing we were now in a modern age, I thought I would upgrade from carrier bags to cling film. (laughs) And it all got a little bit weird from there. Having had a lovely bath, I sat on my bed and began to wrap cling film around my legs, starting off at the ankle and working up to the knee, I was soon set. After thinking for a moment, I realised I always complained about my thighs so I began to wrap them in cling film too (laughs) separately I hasten to add now with my legs completely wrapped up I thought I would move around a little as I looked in the mirror I realized if it works on my legs then surely the same effect (laughs) happened with the rest of my body I had a brainwave I'd wrap myself up entirely and I'd sweat all the fat out (laughs) this is a desperate woman (laughs) five minutes later I'd covered myself entirely in cling film up to my neck Not one part of my body was free or exposed to the air. My now ex-husband has been watching... There's a a lot in that phrase. My now ex-husband had been watching TV at the time downstairs, so when I heard him come upstairs, I hurriedly put on my pyjamas so he couldn't see what I'd been doing. Announcing from the stairs he was going to bed, uh, I jumped in, thinking I'd give it an hour, then I'd go to the toilet and unravel myself. Anyway, it was not to be... It was summer, and I was in bed, wrapped in cling film, (laughs) in my pyjamas. I could feel my body getting warmer and warmer. Within minutes, I could practically feel every pore opening. I also hadn't factored in that when you become hot and sweaty, the body has a tendency to swell. As I lay there, the cling film getting tighter and tighter, I knew I had to get it off quickly. I went to rush to the bathroom, but alas, I couldn't move. The cling film had got so tight and, well, clingy, that I couldn't even bend an arm. As I tried to roll off the bed, my husband became a little bit concerned. He assumed I'd hurt my back in some way, and when he saw my face, bright red and covered in sweat, he told me he thought I needed an ambulance. In shame, I hurriedly told him what I'd done and that I needed his help as I couldn't move. He began to try and take off my pyjamas, but to no avail. The pyjamas had had become stuck to the cling film and they weren't budging either. And besides, he couldn't have got them off anyway as I was unable to move any part of me. There was only one thing for it and he bolted downstairs and returned to the bedroom wielding a pair of scissors. <laughs> and cut off my pyjamas. At this point, I couldn't look him in the eye as he took in the sight of me in nothing but a cling film jumpsuit. The the look of horror over his face. And as the film got tighter still, he rushed into action, (laughs) shouting at me to tell him where the end was. Because you can never find the end in cling film. And so it was with me. I was hysterical by this time and shouted for him to just cut it. He did slowly and carefully cutting through each layer of each layer of cling film and the immediate sense of relief overcame me he just looked at me and within seconds was rolling around on the floor <laughs> unable to contain himself 
My confession comes with an apology, really, to my ex-husband, because although he never declared it, I think that moment was the beginning of the end. <laughs> That's what I've just written here. I probably also owe an apology to my poor body for all it went through, although I have learned to appreciate myself now for how I am. And lastly, I apologise to the Kling Film Companies for not using the item in the way that it was originally intended. Now, where's the foil? <laughs> Well, you know, that's why I said, obviously, you know, I don't think anybody would be tempted to try that because clearly it's utterly ludicrous and based on no science at all. Uh, so, so don't try that. It didn't work for Sam. She could barely move within minutes. Uh, what do you say, Joe? Well, there are beauty treatments, I do believe, where you are kind of caked in mud or possibly salt or oil or something like that. But there is a professional applying cling film or wraps all around you. So they are there making sure that they can take it off without the aid of scissors. So I think if you are going to do this, make sure you do have a professional there and you are paying somebody to do the treatment for you. So yeah, definitely do not do this time. There's nothing to forgive, really. It's just absolutely hilarious. I would like to know with the great aunt... Uh, was consulted or told about this at all and I'd love to know what she said but I did write down here I think that possibly the cling film jumpsuit was the beginning of the end of this marriage you can imagine how it would be yeah absolutely imagine cling film with pyjamas on top it's not attractive <laughs> Uh, Bobby, you go next. Well, I'm not doing this at home, obviously, now. Uh, the thing is about... That's when cling film in 2005 was probably... St it still worked and it still clung. Because new clung, safe cling film doesn't cling as much. So that's probably a warning sign. Oh, those were the days. Uh, the thing is, is you... Uh, I'm with Joe. There's nothing really to forgive. But I think your husband is wrong. I think this is a perfect example of why you're a keeper. Because <laughs> it's uh, good fun. You're resilient. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think he got rid of a great woman. But you are absolutely forgiven if you're going to do this do it professionally i don't think anyone puts cling film on you professionally but anyway no, do, no, I, I get the gist no, you know what? i think they, they do. do i'm, I'm sure i've had it done yeah, i've had it done but <laughs> simon maybe try it out Shh.